what's up you guys this is easy breezy and we're back with another hair sponsor thank you so much for your wig for sending me this beautiful 613 blonde lace front wig and today we're going to be doing a really cute bubblegum pink on the hair so i'm going to be doing watercolor to achieve this and i'm using the color wild cherry from adore As you already know, we got Lexi back in the building. So let's go ahead and take the first step and cleanse the application area. So I'm using our green alcohol to remove any makeup or oil on the hairline. Now we're going to freeze the area with Pump It Up Spritz. Alright, let's go ahead and put this wig on and take our scissors and cut the excess lace off. All right, now I'm going to take my eyeliner and trace the shape of the hairline. All right, once we're done with that, we can get ready to glue. All right, so now I'm applying the glue and I'm making sure I stay at least half an inch away from my model's hairline. Now I can take the back of my tweezers and spread the glue out. Alright, so now let's wait for the first layer to turn clear and then we can add our second coat. going to wait for this coat to turn clear but we're not going to wait till it dries all the way because it still has to be a little tacky or the lace will not stick all 
all right so once the lace is on there completely flat with no ridges now we can give it a good press Now I'm going to take my scissors and cut the excess, excess lace off. And as you can see, I'm cutting out the shape that I drew with the glue bottle. Now I'm going to take my alcohol and erase that eyeliner line. Before we move on, I'm going to take some foundation in my sponge and blend the lace with her skin a little bit better. Now that the hair is completely dry, now we can go ahead and do our mold. I'm going to take my tropical root setting foam, pump it over the hair, and comb it through. All right, so now I'm gonna take my comb and separate a thin roll of hair in the front so we can get ready to do our baby hair. All right, so before we do the baby hair, I'm going to pluck the part at the top. So usually with full lace wigs, the wigs look a little thick little you know wiggy at the top but that's not unusual that's normal um but you have to pluck the part to make it defined and make it look a little bit more natural now that we finished that now we can take our scissors and cut the baby hair about one inch all the way around so question how many of y'all open y'all bottles like this? <laughs> I know I do. So to lay the baby hair down today, we're using got to be glue and I'm using my cute studded edge brush from House of Trillium. You guys should definitely check her out. So on um, platinum hair and really light pastel colors, you can't really see the baby hair that good on camera um and really in real life either but it adds like a cute little look sometimes i do baby hair on light color hair sometimes i don't it really just depends on what i think looks better at the time Now we can take our black wrap and tie it over the mold and I'm going to let her sit with the blow dryer for about maybe 5 to 10 minutes until the top is completely dry. So before we do our cut in style, I'm going to take my flat iron and press her hair out nice and bone straight.
Now to make the part a little bit more natural and brown like her skin, I'm gonna go over it with some concealer. All right, what do you guys think? Should she keep it long and bone straight or should we do a bob? 